What's up friends? Hope you're having an amazing day. So today's video is going to be another try on haul because the last one that I did, for whatever reason, you guys loved it. It got a ton of views and a lot of positive feedback so I thought I would do another one but with active wear. So I am obsessed with gym wear. I wear it to the gym, I wear it around the house, it's just comfy. I love it. It's bright colors, I feel like I work out better, I run faster when I'm wearing nice active wear. So over the past maybe month, month and a half, I have gone a little bit crazy with purchasing and I wanted to share with you what I've got. So let's get going. I'm gonna start with Lululemon. The first piece I want to show you is something that I had been wanting to get for ages. I had been really wanting this specific pair of kind of heathered gray cotton ones and I finally found them. So they are a full length tight they are gray, um, I don't really know if heathered is the right word, but it's what I would call it, <laughs> heathered gray, high-waisted tight. These are in a size 4. Um, they're really, really stretchy, quite hard to get on at the ankles, but once they're on, they're so comfortable. These are not particularly awesome if you're going to be really sweaty. So I think that these are perfect for something like low-intensity yoga, or for just daily wear, but these aren't what you're gonna be wanting to wear while you're running or while you're like dripping sweat, just because the cotton kind of soaks it up versus the other version of the Wonder Unders that have more of like a wicking type fabric. But I love these, I'm so glad I finally got them. I do feel like I'm gonna to have to be a little bit more careful with these just because of the fabric itself. I think that it might snag on things, like if I sat on maybe concrete or just leaned up against things that were a little bit rough, um, I want to be a little bit more careful with these, but I love them. I'm happy that I got them and I totally copied my mom because she has these too. The next thing I got from Lulu are these shorts and I'm not positive. I think that they are the boogie shorts, maybe, don't quote me. They're definitely super high-waisted and I love that. You can definitely roll down the tops if you don't want them to be high-waisted, but I love these shorts. I wear them to hot yoga. I think that they are perfect for that. I would never in a million years wear these running because your vagina would like actually eat them on the inside. But they're perfect for sweaty activity things like hot yoga. Um, I do own these shorts in just the basic version, not the high-waisted version, and I love them to bits, so that's why I decided I needed the high-waisted version because I will get so much use out of these. Finally at Lulu, I got two shirts, and the first one is this one. I believe it's just their basic, um, I think it's called the Silver Scent t-shirt, I don't know, something like that. It basically has silver in it, and for whatever reason it helps with smelliness and it helps with sweat. I definitely can notice a difference in this material compared to other shirts. These shirts just will not stink, so these are badass if you're a smelly person like me. I really, really like the fit of these, they look really nice on. I actually laughed really hard though because I vlogged this a couple weeks ago when I got these in the mail. But one of my subscribers said that the little front bit looks like a pad. <laughs> I never really thought about it like that. It's actually just the Lululemon like ohm symbol thing, but I don't know. I love it. I really like these. I also got another shirt in the same fabric, different color and different um, cut. This is like a little racer back tube top, not a tube top. You know what I mean. <laughs> Racer back top. I love this color. I don't own anything in this color and I just think it's really unique and pretty and I love it. Next up I'm going to show you some stuff that I got at Rebel Sport and Rebel Sport is an Aussie brand. I don't know if it's available anywhere else in the world. Maybe in New Zealand? I'm not sure. I'm not educated on that. But what I am educated on is the fact that they have killer sales. And so I went to the back in their sales rack and this is where I got pretty much all of this stuff. So the first thing is this shirt from Reebok. I love the color, really similar actually to the Lululemon color, which is funny because I just said I don't own anything in that color. Now I own two things in that color. This is definitely a little bit more baby blue though versus that like a full on mint green. I really like this and it is in a size extra small. I got two black shirts. The first one is a Helly Hansen, I believe. I absolutely love the feeling of this material. It's kind of like a softer version of like a jersey. Um, not like a jersey fabric, but like a jersey, like a sports jersey, like a soccer jersey or something. Um, I love the back. It has a little panel of mesh through the top. And it's just really, really soft. I love wearing this to soccer. I feel like it works really, really well. And it's kind of one of those shirts where when you run, it like lets the air through. It sounds ridiculous, but if you run, you know what I'm talking about. It just feels like you're really, really cool as you run because it's just very breezy. 
but I love it. I think it's a really nice flattering shirt. I got another black tank top and it looks like this. It is from New Balance and again it is kind of that see-through-y swishy material. It has a reflective racer stripe down the back. I don't know if you can see very well but it kind of does like a little scalloped dolphin edge I think it's called. I'm not sure. It looks really cute on. I'm hoping that you can see it in the try on bit. The last thing that I got from Rebel Sport is a bra and it's the only thing that wasn't on sale of course and it looks like this. I got it because it's red and I don't own any awesome red sports bras and this to me was just like calling my name so I had to have it. Um, I love the back. I think that it is super pretty. I love that it has kind of the extra smaller black strap and the mesh down the middle. Uh, this is from New Balance. I ordered a few things online from a brand called Tiki and I love Tiki. They're such a cool company. They create all of their leggings from recycled plastic bottles and it's pretty badass. I don't know. I don't know how they do it but I really really like it and I love it. It's an eco-friendly line and I love what they stand for. You should really check them out. They have some cool patterns. But the first thing that I got was another pair of kind of hot pants for yoga. These are so soft. I love all the material. It's just so nice but they look like this and um, again they're a high-waisted pant. I love that these are purple and they have little baby hearts on them. I think that they're way too cute and I feel like I'm just going to live in these for a very long time, but love these. And then I got two different long tights that again are high-waisted. The first one is this really random cool like mint print. I rhymed. I didn't mean to. I apologize. But they look like this. I really, really like them. They have like the coolest little eye on the side of the pants. And yeah, I just think they look really, really cool. I like them a lot. And the last pair that I got, I have been eyeing these up for ages. I'm pretty sure that my best friend Katie owns these exact ones too and I was like, I need those. But they are the same cut as the last legging that I showed you but they look like this and the side has this badass cow skull on it and I think it is so cool. They look so rad on. It's kind of like almost like a dark dusky olive green mixed with black. So they're a really cool color. I think that they're super nice. You can roll all of these down, but I would prefer probably to wear them high-waisted just because they look kind of cute. But I love them. I love Tiki. Go check them out. They're such a cool brand. These next few things are from Style Runner, and I love Style Runner. It is a website that is an Australian-based website. I'm pretty sure you can order worldwide, but they are the first place that I would go to find like new and trendy activewear. And the first thing that I want to show you are these running shoes from Nike. They are the Flyknit Lunar 3s and they look like this. How cool is this? The color is just wild. I absolutely love it. They're super lightweight. They're a little bit more sturdy than the other Flyknit shoes. I have another pair of Flyknits that like you can fully like bend them in half but these have a little bit more um, sturdiness to them. I would, of course, wear my orthotics in these if I were to ever use these for running, but realistically, I don't like running in Nike shoes, period, because I find that they do not have the type of support that I need. But these are amazing for if I'm doing like arm day at the gym or if I'm just going on the elliptical or doing like light things, they're perfect. And everyday wear, these are the shoe. I love these to bits. And so, anyway, I posted about these on my Instagram a few days ago, and Style Runner, being the freaking amazing company that they are, sent me them in a different color. I was so excited. I opened these in the mail and I was like, holy shit, no way. I'm so excited. These are the exact same shoe, different color. I think that they're such a cool color. Thank you, Style Runner. That was so kind of you. I am very grateful that you did that. Also at Style Runner, I picked up a Nike bra. I actually am quite surprised. I got this in a size small and for whatever reason it actually fits so that's awesome. I picked up another Nike bra in a size small that fits but it's kind of like it's one of those types of fits. It is this one. I love the color though and I like where it hits on my um, midsection. I think it's just really really flattering but holy hell it is super tight and I nip out like absolute crazy in this. Not that I really care, I kind of like the look of nipping out, but like, this is deer in the headlights. So I would say either size up a size or maybe go with a slightly darker color because this is like probably my absolute favorite thing that I got from Style Runner and probably one of my favorite things that I think I've ever got from Style Runner is this top from, I think it's called Blue Life Fit. It looks like this, it is so cool. I love, love, love the high neck crop top. 
I think it is super cute. The back looks like this. I think it's lovely that it has a little pop of neon with it. I got this in a size medium and I'm so glad that I did because I find that it fits pretty bang on. The only spot that's a little bit loose is right underneath but everything else fits really well. I've already worn this to the gym twice and both times I was stopped by people asking where it was from. So if you're looking for a piece that's like a whoa, this is so pretty, go find this piece. The next thing I want to show you guys I'm really excited about, it's my friend PM Hollenbeck's activewear line and it's called Slinky Athletic. And I got a pair of the tights. I think that the marble print is so cool. It comes in black and in white. And I also did get the bra top, but I got it in the small and there was no way that was going to fit. So I ended up sending it back and I'm waiting for the medium to come in the mail. But they look like this. They're super nice quality. I really like the feeling of the fabric. They're quite stretchy and I love the little mesh panel on the legs. I think that she did such a great job with this line. I'm really excited to try a few more items from the line. And congrats, Pia. This is really cool. Next up, I got some stuff from Lorna Jane. And Lorna Jane is kind of like the Lululemon of Australia. They do a lot of cool activewear, and my favorite things from them are their sports bras. So this first one that I got is amazing. It is neon. It's this cool fluoro, like pinky coral color. It is not showing up on camera. I feel like this color never ever shows up true on camera. It is so beautiful though, please trust me. And I love the back. I think that it's such a cute flattering back and I love that it's mesh on the back as well as in the front. I think that this is an adorable bra. This one is a black one. I really, really like how the mesh goes around the front, kind of around the armpit, and then down into like a basic racer back tee back. I think it's super cute and really flattering on, and it's really comfortable. I don't know, like sometimes there's little bits of mesh that like go underneath your armpit and it kind of gets like a little bit scratchy, but this one definitely doesn't. I really like this, and again, I got this in a size small. Okay, we're gonna just put a pin in this just for one second because I actually have to read this out to you guys. So my friend just sent me a text that Ben and Jerry's ice cream is making dairy free ice cream for vegans and dairy intolerant people. What? I am so excited. Apparently it's not happening until like this coming spring in the states but you guys, this is big news. I'm so excited. Fingers crossed that they make half-baked because that is my be-all, end-all, die-for-me ice cream. And now back to regular broadcasting. So this next bra is my Legally Blonde bright pink neon bra. <laughs> it looks like this. I love that it's a cage top. I don't own anything that has like a cage top like that, so I thought it was kind of cool. I'm a little bit worried that if I'm working out that it might like slip down and my nipple might like make its way through the cage, but fingers crossed that won't happen. The back has a little kind of clasp where you could leave it um, open or you could clasp it shut into a little like cross back. I'd probably leave it like this. I feel like I have more support with bras that do this. I will say though, I was a complete idiot and I clipped the, um, the tag a little bit too close and I accidentally nicked the fabric. So I ended up putting, I don't know if you guys can see that little dot that's like a different color. I put a little chunk of like clear nail polish on it so that it didn't fray. But hopefully when I'm working out, I don't think you'll notice it. Fingers crossed. But don't clip the tags that close. You hear me? The last bra top that I got was a patterned one. I don't know, I've been really steering away from patterned things lately. So I was really surprised when I was like, hey, I really like that one. It looks like this. And it is... I don't know, like pink and orange and purple and pretty and the back is super cute. I really really love the back on the Lorna Jane stuff. I had to spend, I think it was 150 bucks and you got like 30 bucks off or something like that and they had workout towels for 30 bucks so I was like sweet, a free workout towel. So I got a workout towel and it looks like this and it says you look fit. Thank you. I feel not so fit. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It is a really good terry cloth towel. I think it's a good size and I don't know, I like the color. So I pretty much got this for free because I spent all my monies there. I went to Kmart because Kmart surprisingly has a pretty decent activewear line and it's stupidly cheap. Um, I got this shirt actually before I bought the Lululemon stuff and it kind of looks very similar to the Lululemon shirt. It looks like this. The quality of the material definitely is not the same as the Lulu, but I, I really did like the cut of the shirt and I liked what it looked like um, with all the pattern on it. But I will say, this is a size 12 and it fits me perfectly. Their sizing is a little strange because I'm usually a size 8, so I don't know in what world that would be a size 12, but 
Other than that, I really, really like what they have. I do think that their men's activewear section is a little bit nicer than the women's one. Glenn actually has all of his stuff from Kmart, and like it full-on looks like it's from Lulu or some other expensive place. But yeah, I really like it. You should definitely check it out. I would never buy like running shoes or something from there because they probably wouldn't be a very supportive or well-made shoe. But things like, I don't know, tights, shirts, bras, check it out. I was at Macquarie Center and I stopped in at the Nike store and I picked up this shirt. I love this color. Like this color family is one of my favorite color families. I don't know, just like the off red, kind of burnt red. I love it. It's so nice. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It is the dry fit style and I got this in a size extra small. I wanted a few more gym towel options because I, I like having a towel at the gym, but everything like I showed you before was like 30 bucks and like Nike ones or Adidas or like any of... I said Adidas, I've been living here too long. What is wrong with me? Adidas, 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 Adidas. Carry on. Anyway, they're all like, I don't know, 30 bucks or so, and I was like, fuck that, I'm not spending like 60 bucks on two towels. So I thought I would check out Target, and I'm glad that I did because they had $10 towels. So I got a purpley colored one, it says Run Wild on the front, and it has a little zipper. I don't really know why anyone would store their keys in here. I feel like you just pick it up after a set and like whack yourself in the face with like your key pouch, but whatever. And I got this one, and I like this one way more than the other one. And it looks like this. It says, sweat, smile, and repeat. And I really like the colors. I think that it's pretty. And it soaks up sweat quite well. So yeah, Target, way to go. I got a running belt off of eBay. For whatever reason, every store that I looked in didn't have very nice running belts that actually didn't fit the bigger... Um, I just have a regular iPhone 6, not the 6 Plus, but it still couldn't really fit the 6 very well. You had to like cram it in there. So I saw... Um, who was it? I think it was Nikki Blackheader on her channel using a Nike one. It's like, alright, I'll give it a go, but I couldn't find any in the Nike store or in like Rebel Sport. So I looked on eBay and I found one of these. And it looks really, really tiny, but you open it up and you put your phone in and it stretches to hold whatever you put in it. And like it stretches really freaking big. Like I could still easily fit like another few things in this. So I'm glad that I got this. I do want to check out, I think it's called like a flip belt or something. They are kind of like this, but they're wide all the way around. They remind me of like, you know how the high waist pants look like that I was showing you guys earlier? They remind me of like a chunkier version of that with that kind of fabric around your waist. I don't know. I might get my hands on one to see if I like it, but I have this one for now. I really like it and it's in a cute red color again. The last thing that I got that I want to show you, I bought from the Kayla, is it Itsins? It's Science? I feel terrible because I can't pronounce her last name and I think that she is like a boss bitch. She is so cool and she has a killer workout plan. But anyway, she came out with a foam roller and I love foam rolling. Let me rephrase that. I hate doing foam rolling but I love the way that it makes me feel afterwards. It helps a lot with recovery. So I got this. I think it was, I want to say it was 30 bucks maybe. Um, it's a good size, you could put it in your gym bag if you want to take it to the gym with you, but I just leave mine at home. It looks like this, it's kind of knobbly on parts and flat on others, and I love it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be on a gym clothes buying ban because I'm set, I do not need any more. <laughs> I'm an addict, man, this is bad. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would actually like to watch some of my gym routine, I filmed some of my arm day today at the gym, so jump on over to my vlog channel if you'd like to check out some of the exercises that I have been doing. I'll leave the link down below for you. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below if there's any new activewear brands that you can suggest. I'm not going to buy anything, but I mean you could leave it down below. And I think that that's everything for me. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. See you later.